Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. I'm going to demo Zidoo X9S HDMI input function. So I've connected the SATA hard drive to the device, a USB hard drive as well, but I'm not going to use it. And for HDMI input, I use K1 plus DVB T2, DVB S2, and I will input the video feed inside the HDMI input. Okay, so that's Z2 X9S uh, launcher. The vertical line on the screen is my TV problem, so try to ignore it if you can. So let's go in HDMI input application. So on the left, we have the video input. Currently, I set it to 4K output in the box, and it will convert it to 1080p automatically. So that's the good part. And on the right, you have some options for resolution, frame rate, bit rate. So if you are going to record to the hard drive, set it to 10 uh, megabit per second should be good enough. But if you are going to stream uh, over the network, maybe to your mobile phone, and then you should uh, lower the bit rate maybe to 3 megabit per second or less, depending how well your Wi-Fi connection works. And then you can change uh, audio sample rates. But I just uh, set the default. Output mode you have file on broadcast, but you don't need to change this because you can select at the bottom. Uh, video duration, I haven't I haven't really used it. And path. And when you click there, you will go to some uh, the file, file manager, and you can go to a directory. I set one called HDMI in, and you can select it. And this is where I will record it inside the SATA hard drive. Okay, so let me start some video in the TV receiver DVB-T2 this is in K1 plus okay. So you can have the live preview like this and if you want you can start recording here you can see you have the record icon on the top left and while it's recording uh, you can go do your business maybe browse the web Okay, some problem with keyboard. I, for some reasons, I cannot use. Uh, I'm using an air mouse. Mini X air mouse, and I cannot scroll using the air mouse function, so I have to use the page up and down to scroll the web page. Okay, so now uh, we have recorded for over one minute. Let's stop the recording. And go inside. Uh, Media Center, CXSoft, HDMI in, and we can watch the video. So the video just recorded now will be that one. Thank you. 
การเปลี่ยนแปลงของปัจจัยภายในและปัจจัยภายนอกองค์กรที่จะกระทบต่อคุณธรรมจริยธรรมทั้งนี้เมื่อองค์กรได้ตรวจประเมินหรือวินิจฉัยองค์กรเป็นที่เรียบร้อยแล้วซึ่งในหมวดนี้ Okay, and even I go to do some web browsing, in the meantime, it seemed to have recorded the video just fine. So part two, we also have PIP function. And here you may want to go to the options. Uh, maybe disable PAP audio and then when you go to the main launcher there will be no audio if you enable PAP audio you will have audio and the good thing you can move the video anywhere you want you can resize if you go at the corner you can resize it as you wish okay and of course you can go full screen and go back in PIP mode so I will enable I will enable audio. Okay, so even here we have audio. And again, I can go to the web browser and do some other stuff at the same time. That's a big improvement compared to the first model at the time I reviewed it. Okay, so let's go back to HDMI in function. Before I go to broadcast, uh, I can show you this plus here is to uh, set schedules. So maybe if I want to start recording in one hour, I set this. I press OK. OK on the remote and the clock icon. Uh, you can check all the recordings okay and you will also use the pass you are currently using this one is for streaming and that's exactly what I'm going to show now so I can change a bitrate uh, for this purpose I will change a bitrate to 3 megabit per second and here I will click on start broadcast this is set to multicast and you have the address here and this is the important part on the bottom left here that you have to input in your computer if you use VLC you open network stream and you can uh, play the video and if you use a phone I'm using an app called uh, Good Player Okay, um, good player, and uh, if you can see, there is a stream here. I already input. And you can see it has started streaming on the phone and you can have multiple clients running at the same time uh, okay so at the beginning I had some some problems audio was not was not really working well so I tried different settings and here you can set HDMI RX to a row. Uh, that means if you want to record SC3 in theory, you can do so. 
So I also set the video recorder to HDMI pass through and play an AC3 video or just uh, use PCM and in both cases when I use press when I press start record it will say start HDMI in record failed and start broadcast we also have the same problem so if this happens to you and you don't know why come to check the audio settings and make sure you set it set this to PCM okay so HDMI is quite a neat feature and is working relatively well thanks for watching bye bye